What is going on guys? My name is Ron Becky and from Ron Reviews here with another episode of reaction to Heavenly Delusion. This is the episode that I started off the entire series with, so it's going to be quite fresh in my mind. You guys wanted to see the re-reaction to it with the new knowledge that I have, so maybe I can pick out a couple more things that I didn't realize before. I'm ready to jump into this episode of reaction, so without further ado, let's jump into episode 6 of Heavenly Delusion, starting in 3, 2, 1, let's jam. Intro, skip an intro. So I'm trying to remember, was is this the same map that they got back in the ship? I think it was the same one, right? Or from the people on the ship. And they said the strange people. Yeah. Yeah, so this is the guy who got hit by the bear. Like, they really portrayed this episode... Almost like slightly horrorish. Horrorish. Oh, he is missing a tooth. So there's a, there's the two shots. There's two more. Oh, and you see the uh, the um, flight of stairs. Because <laughs> that's the first time he actually used that terminology for his uh his move. <laughs> It is still a man-eater, but not a man-eater, if you know what I mean.
That is a very rinkety set of stairs. <laughs> oh, he is missing tooth. Straight missing tooth. I remember I was saying, I was like, you know, bears do climb. They can climb. I've seen them climb trees. They can climb ladders. I've seen them literally climb glamours. Maybe not that, because look how rinkety it is, but yeah. I remember seeing something weird at the end. <laughs> oh, I didn't notice that you could hear it drop. One thing that's a surprise, it didn't break. That makes a lot more sense now in the whole... Yeah. I was wondering why, like, it seemed... Why it seemed that, uh, he was so... gung-ho about it. And I was saying in my reaction, my for when I first watched this, it looks like a Yao Guai from Fallout. If you don't know, it's basically an irradiated bear. Very similar looking, just it looks very like that. Um, yeah. Yao Guai. But he can't jump down. And the funny thing is, she's supposed to be the bodyguard. Has he tested that theory? I don't think I've ever seen him shoot. Mm. That makes a little make that makes more sense within the context now. That makes a lot more sense. Superhero landing. Don't want to break the nail. Princess. Funny thing is, that meat is the most edible 
that they probably had ever. Bear meat is still eaten to this day. It is extremely greasy. So you need to cut off a lot of fat on it. But yeah. It's so weird to hear that if the whole brother in the head is true. I just realized those are the same guys they beat up. Although, I think he's in that raw, and that's actually very bad. I believe it actually, there is an actual, um, uh, it's not really, I, I don't know if it's, it's not a pesticide, not a pesticide, um, it, it's bad, it, it, you can develop a worm if you eat it. You have to make sure you cook it at a certain point. Do you forget the promise that you made to a very young man with feelings? Boops. Yeah, being the first experience to this was a little bit odd. Yeah. It doesn't look dry though. <laughs> yeah, it's not gonna stop him. That makes a lot more sense. <laughs> You're a hypocrite. <laughs> You're a hypocrite. So much. But that doesn't that's weird though. How is he able to get inside of her? Not like that. Oh, he did it.
<laughs> Understandable. Like, I'm trying to wonder why the teacher immediately thought it was her with the boots. And I'm assuming this is Asura, right? Hmm. So did did she just look like that? And then I remember, yeah, her body starts turning. Yeah, how was he immediately assuming? Like, <laughs> she kind of cute though. Like, but this makes me question like, something that later happens on in this episode. I'll, I'll, br I'll talk about it when they bring it up. It's at the very end. Yeah, but why can he do it to her? Dive out down. Like, I wonder if she's only around for this episode. Yeah, I think it's gonna. Okay, no. So we saw this part. I... Okay, so there's and there is an ending. Yeah, it's a teacher looking at the shoe. Or well, this part, yeah.
See, why is that happening, though? This. It's the fact that he's not blushing is slightly weird. Yeah, so it's just kind of weird, but then again, like I know that a lot of people were like trying to figure out what the the these feelings are because again, I'm assuming that these kids are not taught what is going on, what these feelings exactly are. So I'm I'm just kind of curious, but like I'm assuming this might be really rampant. But also, why is it the fact that the security cameras are not catching what they're doing? Someone's manipulating those cameras. Who? I don't know. Is it Asura? I don't know. Who is Asura? Some girl who committed suicide apparently and looked like that. That does not look like a normal human. A lot of questions. Didn't really answer a lot of things. There was a couple misunderstandings that I kind of flew over my head the first time I watched, and then now I get I understand the context. But yeah, but I'm gonna go wrap this up right here. Let me know what you guys thought in the comment section below. As always, um, yeah, I'm ready to jump into the next episode. Yeah, I'm gonna go hurry up and upload these, and then go from there. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.